I think Texas governor has said, you want to play with fire, let's play with fire. You guys said you were a sanctuary state, and now you get to eat some of the pie as well. And the sad thing is, a lot of people ain't, they're not completely paying attention to what's going on, right? And you got Abbott saying, you know what? You about to find out. So Mayor Johnson made all these threats about impounding buses and regulations and restrictions. And you got to get a permit to drop illegals off here in Chicago now because we're so overwhelmed. We can't take care of what we got. People are getting sick, ended up in the hospital. Kids are dying. Blase, blase, blase. So what does the uh, governor say? The governor says, oh, really? Well, I'll just go ahead and fly a plane. I'll fly a plane full of 91 migrants and, and drop them off at your airport. How about that? And does it. Now, we had a, uh, was a bus show up in Lockport, drop off buses there, or drop off migrants in Lockport. And then the police there had to transport them to o OEMC or OMC or something like that in the city. And then today, 4.30 in the morning, a bus drops a load of migrants, they said between 30 to 40 or 40 to 50 or something like that, off in Kankakee, Illinois, which is about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes south of Chicago. The driver at 4.30 in the morning pulls in and says, okay, you guys are in Chicago, get off the bus. And then, pew, hightails it out of there. Wow, there's some real screwy stuff going on, y'all. This is absolutely crazy. The stuff that I this is, it, it's almost like a like a sadistic comedy show that's going on to see who can do what and get away with it without getting caught or getting in trouble or trying to trying to find out how they can circumvent the system to do exactly what they want the way they want or just sending a message. But the thing it the thing that sucks is it's at the expense of the tax expense of the taxpayers. And it really, really, really sucks. You know what somebody told me the other, other day, which is kind of scary. It did make me think for just for a second. Man, what if that's true? He said, um, what if what Abbott is doing is in accordance with the World Economic Forum? Trying to build all these little sleeper agencies and cells and stuff all over the United States. That's why there's only men coming across the border and stuff now and not women. Maybe that's why California, New York, Chicago, Colorado, maybe that's why they're filling these people up in these states is because he's a, he's kind of the ringleader to direct these all these guys where they need to go. And people are kind of pushing back from these bigger states and stuff as a front to make it seem like they're not wanting it, even though they're all part of the same game plan. That's pretty scary. You can speak about that. That's a scenario that can be, that could be what if the end of the world type thing. What if this was the situation and then this movie is playing out in front of our face? That is, that's, that's scary. Never thought about it that way. Anyway, I hope you all have a, have a happy holiday weekend and Merry Christmas to you. Um, I really appreciate every one of you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for stopping by my shop. Thank you for bringing me, me my uh, your, your business. Thank you for leaving positive reviews and stuff on my company webpage and stuff with those of you that have done business with me. I really, really, really appreciate you. And uh, thanks, just thanks for everything. Um, it just, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I love y'all. Thank you. Be blessed.